All right, so I, I am not great at making videos. This is like my third time trying to do this and get all my technology straight. I think I've got it. Um, so I, I'm making a video uh, talking through the basics of how to play um, Run Like an Antelope by Fish on the piano. Uh, and this is to help out a friend of mine on Reddit, uh, but I'm gonna put it out on YouTube because I hope it's helpful for all of you. Uh, anybody who's trying to learn this stuff. Um, and because we're talking, you know, early 90s fish, I have to use this just lovely CP80, um, Yamaha CP80 patch. And if you don't know what a CP80 is, you should look it up because they're incredibly cool instruments and they just, they just sound like the late 80s, early 90s. They're so cool. So that's what I'm going to use. That's why I'm using it. Um, and run like an antelope. Let's get into it. So this video I'm going to do, um, uh, a talk through uh, of what's going on in each section of the song and sort of how I would approach it. Um, I pulled, you know, the emails tab, guitar tabs, and spent some time with it by ear. So this may not be exactly perfect, but it's what I hear um, and how I would approach it. Um, and again, you know, there, it's fish. There's room to make stuff up and to do it in your own way as well. So that's part of the beauty of it. Uh, this, this tune is mostly in D major, and the piano in the studio track, uh, which is the one I'm going to use to play along with uh, in the second half of this video, um, the piano doesn't come in for a little bit, and the guitar is just on that riff. helpful uh, to know on the piano because um, once the piano comes in it spends a lot of time in that space again um, and that's like a D major chord with the A on top and then you come down to the F sharp and up to G and then F sharp down to E and it, it's living in that D major space so it's like a D major scale D E F sharp G A B C sharp D um, So knowing that you're on a D major scale, um, you could probably pick it out by ear pretty easily. But you spend a lot of time doing that in the beginning of this song. And then it moves to the A, and that's where the piano comes in. Now it does these lovely sixths on this A major um, chord. So that first one is a C sharp and an A, and I play it with my index finger and my pinky. And it goes down a half step uh, for both of them. So the C sharp goes down to C, the A goes down to A flat. And then you do the same thing on D, which is F sharp and D to make that sixth. And they both go down a half step. Then you come back down to A again. And it goes. So that, that you're rolling up to the sixth. So you're going E, F, F sharp, D really quick. Which is just a good move to have in your back pocket anyways, um, playing piano. Those are just, they're great. Um, so, and then it, and that is um, A up to F sharp, and you come down to uh, G and E, and then F sharp and D. And then you're just living in that A, D, A, and then D, and then you're back to the guitar riff. It does that for a long time. Um, and then it moves to these um, A, down to A flat. And that's all it is. Back to the D. You do it again. Go up to the B flat. Back to the A flat. Back to the D. And then you go back to the guitar riff. So once you get that guitar riff down, you're in pretty good shape. And then you just you can noodle around on D, D major. All those notes are safe. Um, so you can just good stuff um, and then when it turns around it's on the D chord and it moves to this pattern that comes up again at the end of the song it's a little bit different at the end but we'll just talk about this one for now which is like the the pre jam portion of the song and it's this D and C back up to D back down to C and then G F and you can use all 
major chords for this. So it's D, F sharp, A, C, E, G, D, F sharp, A, C, E, G, and then a G major, G, B, D, F, A, C. and see sort of what, what works for you. And then you're following um, the lead guitar part, and it's going to lead you. And it lands on that E minor. And this is like an E minor 7, so it's E, G, B, and D. And it sits on that E minor chord for a little bit, and then it goes into that classic jam pattern of the E minor 7, and then down to D major. to this is it's um it's like an E Dorian scale so it's E F sharp G A B C sharp D E and you know get that scale under your hands and you can roll up and down and, and you know do little hops in it and, and it, it'll serve you well you can get around sort of like an E minor blues scale, so it's E, G, A, B flat, B, D, E, and you can get But, you know, if you're using the Dorian scale, it's nice to get those C sharp and F sharp in the mix, too. the straight blue scale. Um, so you're going to be doing that for a while. Um, as it gets gnarlier, you want to start integrating chromatics into what you're doing. Um, so... That's using half steps while tension is building. So you're really following along with the guitar. So when the guitar starts to get gnarly, you can start moving by half steps and then you resolve back to the chords. And yeah, this is a high flying improv section. Just, just roll with it, ride the energy of it. Uh, and it's really fun to just pound those two chords when it when the tension resolves. Um, so have fun doing that. And then finally, um, when it settles out of the jam after everything goes insane, um, you know, it's that bass line, just the same E minor D pattern. to the set your gear shift, um, it's D major, A minor 7, so A, C, E, G, D major, A minor 7 again, and then that G, F again, so it's just like the, the part right before the jam. to do on the piano there because it's it's already busy enough um you don't need to be like pulling out crazy riffs or anything um so mostly you're just pounding chords for that at the end of it it just does that slow down into the end <laughs> and then the 
this last D. Just add the ninth, add an E to it. Helps it sound really nice and final. And that's about it. Uh, so um, next up is going to be a uh, playthrough. I'll play through with the studio version. Hopefully you can see my hands. If you have any questions, uh, fire me a comment or a message on Reddit, and I'd be happy to uh, help you get better at this stuff if you can. And if I got something wrong, please tell me, because um, I did not spend a lot of time prepping this. Uh, and I'm hoping to do more. I think uh, Bathtub Gin is on the list, so I would love to do that, too, because I never played that tune. that would be great. So thank you so much, and good luck out there. All right, so now we're just going to play along with the song. The piano doesn't come in for a while, but here's that riff on D minor.
much for you to do here as a piano player yet because it's all bass. Uh, but it's got to come back in and uh, I'm not talking about the organ part here, mostly because I'm not set up for it. Uh, but you're just following that D major, A minor 7, D major, A minor 7, and then G, F to turn it around. It's a lot like the part right before the G. Um, that's easy enough. See you soon.